Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely. So good to see you here today. This reading is for my Libras. I love y'all. If you mm, if you guys resonate with the reading, like, share, and subscribe. If you're not a Libra and this reading gets to you, then it was meant for you. Um, if you want to do any personal readings or donate, the link is down below. Alright, we're starting today with the Four of Pentacles. I don't really see Four of Pentacles energy. What I'm getting more here is like activation. Every part of you is being activated. The specific portal is being activated for you. Look at this. So bright and shiny. It's right in front of you and it's funny because you see it and you're like... I want this more than anything. It's like every cell of your being is being guided and led to this freaking portal. Look at all this beauty. You see all these energies right here? It's like it's it's right there. It's like it's it's like you see your heart being reflected back to you. This is what you want and you're going towards it. It's funny because you might have been stuck for a very long time. I'm seeing somebody who was stuck psychically, spiritually, mentally, physically stuck for a while. So my Libras, you guys are finally in balance, right? Because look what comes next. The Wheel of Fortune. Again, this is what you want. Look at this beautiful color energy, rainbow energy being activated. In the bottom too, it's like being reflected back. It's like you're mirroring this wheel of fortune. You're like, yeah, I manifested this motherfucker. Look at this. You were stuck for such a long time. So the fact that you see this wheel moving forward, it's turning in your favor, being activated. Look at this. This just seems like a, the chakras, the heart being activated. Look at this. Your throat's being activated. Shit. This little blue right here. Everything's being activated. And now it's like you get to move forward into this cycle. Now again, just because you move forward in the wheel of fortune, that doesn't mean it's endings, right? You can be still moving forward in the same karmic cycle. It's just you're moving forward. You've learned some type of lesson there. It's funny because you get the lovers next, right? Now again, I'm not looking at this as a relationship, okay? I'm, it's not that I don't read for those specific things but it's it's more of you right even if you wanted to have a good relationship you need to you need to establish a good relationship with yourself first right Let, let's just start there it's you all aspects of you being united this is why you're moving forward in the wheel of fortune because it's like how can you move forward if your higher aspects in tune but you don't even have your shadow with you how can you move forward if you have your shadow all equipped you know what you are you know the deepest darkest hells that you've been through and what what you are and what you're capable of if you don't have your heart activated and higher self with you you can't move forward if you don't have both equipped you do Look at this beautiful energy, all this fire that's getting activated because of this energy, all the lights being shown into your life. Beautiful energy, honey. And it's funny how I said, you know, just because you move forward in the in the wheel of fortune, that doesn't mean the karmic lessons over. But guess what, honey? Bam, it is because you have the world. If the world hadn't come up here, that just means that you were just moving forward in the karmic cycle, right? No, you're done. It's done. Here you are. The land of milk and honey, right? You earn this. You earn this. You see that motherfucker like, yes! So let me bask in the glory of the world. So let me bask in the glory of the milk and honey because I've earned it. Right? <laughs> you guys are like, yeah. <laughs> I can hear your guides in the background like, finally. <laughs> it's about damn time. About damn time. You fucking got here, right? Like they, <laughs> These motherfuckers are in the ether like, ah. <laughs> They were celebrating this whole time these last three fucking months while you were over there crying. Like, why, God, why? <laughs> Right, try to get your heart in tune with your mind because you already had your mind, but you needed that heart activation. <laughs> you were over there like, why is this happening to me? I want to die. Why did you bring that tower? Meanwhile, the whole time they're fucking over here celebrating like, yes, she finally learned her lesson. She can move forward. <laughs> this is funny, y'all. I don't care. You got to laugh because they're over here laughing this whole time. They laugh because they're like, she don't understand. She don't understand. Give her two, three months. She gonna understand the lesson. She gonna understand the assignment. She gonna understand why we had to bring in that tower so you can move. 
Because your ass was happy and content in this old version way of being when it was like, bro, why are you settling for less when you know you are over here? You know you're meant to be over here. And they're over here like, come on, what are you doing? We love you. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this whole time, this is you right over here looking at this poor like, <laughs> Looking at your life all somber, right? Like, why is this happening to me? I hate my life. Why? Why does this always happen? Why does the tower come beat me up? Why does all these change have to take place? I was so happy where I was at. Why did you have to remove this person, place, or thing out of my life? When bam, the whole time they were like, that's not for you. You were never meant to be with these people. You were always meant to create your own life. You were always meant to create your own people. You were always meant to, you were destined for greater things. Yes, those other places, people, and things were they were cool they were great they were amazing but they were only specifically made for that specific season the minute you start understanding that the minute you're going to be like okay that makes sense then you're going to be able to see everything from a higher perspective and realize yeah that person was for that season because that person was perfectly equipped to teach me what i had to learn there guess what it's time to move on though nothing really lasts forever it's time to move on to meet greater, right? To be with greater experiences. Create better experiences for yourself. Now, instead of being all somber and sad or whatever, you're over here looking at the bigger picture and you're like, ah, it makes sense. The portal's here. The guides are here. They've been pulling me here towards this energy this whole time, right? Because this whole time what they saw... What they wanted you to see was this, this ending. You looked at this ending and you were sad. You were like, this is not right. This is, this is, this breaks my heart. This is going to make me sad for the rest of my life. And this whole time they were like, yeah, cry, keep crying. But guess what, honey? Your guides are like, guess what, honey? At the end of the day, the world comes for all. The ending comes for all. But this ending shouldn't be looked at as a sad thing. I mean, you could cry. You could be sad. But at the end of the day, you should look at this ending like, yes, I made it happen. I learned my lessons. I am equipped. I learned everything I needed to. And I'm equipped now with all the tools necessary to move forward. Again, as above, so below. Six of Wands, yes. But I'm reading more of it. Now you've gained everything from the higher aspects, right? The mind. To the lower realms casting your shadows and bringing it with you and now getting all this desire right because what people don't realize about the shadows is you need your shadows without your shadows you can't create without your shadows right like uh carl jung has said when you go into the depths of hell you're afraid you don't understand what you're seeing, right? But when you see your shadows and you and you hug them and you embrace them and you let them cry, you know what they teach you? They teach you that not only are they there to defend you and protect you, but they're there to express the most creative, abundant sides to you that you could have never imagined because you never tapped into that, right? You never tapped into those shadows. Now that you did, guess what you learn about yourself? Oh, I really can sing. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to be doing this. Oh, I never knew that I can communicate with people as well as I do, as effectively as I do. Oh, I never knew I was selfish enough to go and pursue my dreams, right? How could you pursue dreams if you, you didn't even have the desire, right? When you go down to the depths of hell, you, what do you, you know what you get out of that? Your desires, your deepest, darkest, most beautiful desires, the things you want the most, the attention you seek the most can be harnessed and used for good when it's tamed and, and, and enhanced by your higher self. I hope I'm making sense here. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I think I am, though. Followed by the Empress, baby. This is the mother. The mother, right? Receiving. Not only are you receiving downloads, right? That are being brought down from the ethers, right? This fire. It, it, it's like... Okay, when you go down to the depths of hell, right? Pressure is being mounted on you. Right? You get this darkness that mounts in you, but then the light sheds, right? And you become whole, right? But it's funny because when you put it in metal, right? When you talk about metal, when you talk about um, gold and all of these, uh, what do you call them? Element? No, you don't call them elements. You call them, I don't want to say periodic table, right? But let, let's just say gold, right? Look at this gold. Like she's plated, right? She's royalty. She knows what she is. She's went to the depths of hell and she collected 
all of these items that she needed to glow and come back as the empress, right? She learned a few things here. And it didn't let her tarnish her heart. It just means that she's protected. The shadows heavily protect her. She's plated in gold, right? Meanwhile, look at all the things being descended from on top. All this light, all this beauty. She's heavily protected from the... From, her shadows protect her and her guides protect her. Do you understand? Beautiful, beautiful energy. She can create. She manifests at a faster rate. She creates because there's nothing holding her back. She knows she's the empress. She's the mother. She's creation. She's manifestation. She's whatever she wants, she gets. Who, who stops the empress? Nobody. They all surrender to her. She knows her worth. She teaches others their worth, right? You embrace the empress, you know you kneel down. You bow down to one knee. Spiritually, you don't have to do it physically, right? Then you get the Ace of Pentacles, right? A whole new beginning. Weave, you, look, it's funny because you're starting to weave out the pattern. You can see how to weave this pattern. That's the thing about it. When you go down into the shadows, right, and you 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 collect the gold, because that's what it is. You're collecting gold, really. You're collecting the energy, the gold. You're collecting your worth, and you bring it with you into the three D, right? And you see, you collect the double because you have your the mindset and you have the desire. You put them together. You see this. Um, you see what you want, right? It's a blueprint. Right, whatever, whatever was uh, channeled to you, and you see that whatever you're meant to create, you see the blueprint. But now it's funny because you're already weaving it. You haven't even started, but you saw the blueprint. But because you have your shadow, you already know how to, you're going to use it to equip it, 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 it to equip this this tool and make it work to your advantage. Right, you're manifested this already. It's weaving. You're already working on it without really working on it. Do you see what I'm saying? She's that powerful. She could work into weaving it into her existence. It's not even happening, but it's the blueprint. She already has this. She already believes this is it. It's already created. Why do you think it's so advanced? How do you how do you start with the ace? How do you start with the ace, but it's already weaved, like literally weaved really well as an ace? You see it and you want it and it's yours. That's the difference. The intent alone. Right? The blueprint, you see it, but you already know you're a powerful being. You already know the minute you touch this, it turns to gold. It's it's funny because she's using yellow, right? It looks like she's using gold or whatever material she, she collected from the from hell, right? She's using it towards towards her new ace. She's using gold pattern. You can't destroy gold. Right? I, I think in jewelry, I don't think you could destroy gold. I'm not a jeweler. I'm just I'm just assuming here. Right? Isn't that what they do? Um, when they do like real, when they use real silver and real gold to plate or roll, um, real jewelry, I think it, it doesn't tear, it doesn't, it doesn't rust. That's what I heard. I could be wrong, but let me know. Let me know in the comments if you're a jeweler, tell me a little bit about it, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens. That that's why it doesn't, real, real gold, real silver doesn't rust when you plate it and you roll it correctly, like roll it uh, into it correctly. Anyways. Mm, any advice for my beautiful Libra's balance? I'm getting the balance card, a lot of balance. Mm. The Knight of Cups with justice, right? It's like you brought justice into your lineage. Knight of Cups, fast moving energy. Look at the same color that's coming by, right? Very beautiful orange, yellow, solar plexus. I'm getting orange, sacred, and solar plexus energies coming into this, uh, these characters. Mm. It almost seems to me too, like you're using everything that fell, every shed, anything that shed or whatever, you're using it at your, as your advantage. You're using it to your advantage, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you're using the energy. All of that energy. Let me see something real quick. Hmm. Look at this grace in this, in this, the grace on, on the face, right? With this uh, knight, this little horse. 
it almost seems to me like they're using that energy to to just activate it's like everything's free flowing you're literally activating yourself with all this energy all these colors very i can energy very uh sexualized very desire energy desire driven energy it's like you're getting to know these parts of yourself these aspects of yourself right maybe you went down into hell and you cast out a lot of sexual energy only to find out you thinking that sexual energy used bad could be bad right uh using sexual energy in the wrong way could be bad but when you use sexual energy and desire in the right way to pursue your dreams you're unstoppable there's always good and bad aspects to something right so yeah, I'm just getting this fast moving energy moving forward and, and because you're using that energy and, and utilizing and optimizing at your best, um, you get this justice, right? Using the fire element to bring you to bring in desires. Look how colorful this the, these characters look. You're embraced with nothing but color and again very orangey, very red, fire energy, uh, also also yellow, right? All these colors are being embedded and used, all these lower lower energies are being used and activated so that you can move forward right the red orange and and and, and the yellow desire energy why do you think they're they're considered that way right the lower energies and the higher energies right it, it's 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 all based on that shadowy energy is really on the low being cast in and used to go up right you're activating it and it always goes up so bringing justice like i said into your life you made this happen nobody else did right you went and you went and did the work that nobody else wants to do and source is like well she wants it so what can we do we've been waiting for her to get this to to make it happen look we pushed her we pushed her we threw those towers in we pushed him we threw those towers in and instead of letting those towers destroy you which they did but instead of of crying about it forever you just were like you know what it is what it is there was a lesson being taught here and I learned the lesson, I understood the assignment, and if I didn't, I understood it now. And guess what? You're moving fast. I never seen such fast energy being moved forward, but it's you. That's you, Libra. And it's funny because you're it's funny because in order for you to move forward, you need to have balance, right? It's the scales of Libra, and you have the balance now, right? With the lovers, you really have balance. Higher self, lower self, all chakras are being activated. Maybe you were too focused on the on the higher higher aspects of your chakra right and now it's like now that you have your lower ones being activated you're full and ready to move on you're you're balanced which is this is all about you it's what you are so i think that's it i don't have anything else for you why is this in reverse mm. yep Although this is a three of swords, again, I'm not getting three of swords. Don't get too into the labeling of the cards. I'm more into, I mean, I do use the labeling of the cards, but I'm more into like the visionary or like the, the what the cards are saying to me based on the illustration. Look at all these colors, right? It's like you got the, the lower chakras and the higher higher chakras all activated into one, which is why you're able to fly, Right? It's like a beautiful pattern in the background and i see a sword right three of swords or not you could look at this as you were in pain you're in pain there's heartbreak but it doesn't even matter because you're flying out of there right you're using this truth of what happened to you as only a setback or only a lesson to have been learned so that you can move forward with your life all right my beautiful libras i love y'all you guys are the best bye